Youth Corps programs are basically peer-driven diversion programs that um, are interventions for first-time juvenile offenders who have admitted that they have committed um, um, a charge that's relatively low-level violence. We're talking about misdemeanors like vandalism or um, choplifting, um, uh, curfew violations. You have an adult who is an attorney who presides as judge, but students, uh, teenagers, do all the other roles, prosecution, defense, bailiff, clerk, presiding juror or foreman, as, as it was once called, uh, and uh, jury members. It has multiple positive in, uh, influences or impacts within our school district. Number one, of course, the students that are participating are getting mentoring from uh, members of the Bar Association and existing uh, or currently practicing lawyers. They have immediate contact to the juvenile judge, the juvenile magistrate. So they're receiving real training uh, regarding juvenile law. For us. Well, I really like the fact that I get to be in the courtroom basically not just to punish a student or actually even punish people in anything, but more to help them out and get their life back together. That's, that's what prosecution and defense, no matter what I'm doing. The benefit of the youth court in terms of the juvenile justice system is, number one, it's a mechanism within which we can educate not only the students that are involved, but the public through their families about what juvenile court's all about. It's an opportunity for youth to get involved, to learn all about our system and how it works. It's an opportunity for them to hear low-level cases, uh, which ultimately, if, if their hearing those cases does not resolve the case, it gets referred back to the court. But they're hearing these cases with oversight of attorneys involved in the juvenile court oversight. It reduces the caseloads of the juvenile court to some degree, not a lot, but to some. Um, but more importantly, it involves our youth in the process. For a school district, it means that we have young people that are now hearing truancy and other low-level uh, juvenile infractions that they can then decide what are the appropriate consequences would build, which builds ownership within our student uh, student community which has a direct influence on school culture and also gives them a leadership role within their building.